Good morning, everybody. I am Jeff the Homestead Dad, and welcome to the Homestead. It is really cold out. Uh, it is 12 degrees below zero, but the good news is it only feels like 11 degrees below zero. I don't know how that works, but anyway, it's a couple minutes before six. Uh, Homestead mom got home this morning about two o'clock. Uh, normally, I would not be getting up this early, especially with it as cold as it is at this time, but... Uh, my buddy John from our hodgepodge homestead is coming over. He picked up something, um, some stainless steel tabletops that were on his way to and from work for me. So he's dropping them off because he was over in my neck of the woods this morning. So I'm up. I'm going to grab those, say hi to him, do the chores, go inside, take a shower, try to go back to bed. We'll see how that works. <music> I told you I was having a guest this morning. <laughs> yeah, early guest. Yes. So, these are the tabletops he picked up for me. A couple of stainless steel tabletops. Hopefully we'll be using those in the uh, pig butchering class that we're going to be having sometime this spring. So thank you very much for picking those no up No problem. Yeah, my pleasure. I think this is one of the cool things about YouTube and the homesteading community on YouTube is you get to know people and you get to like become friends with people you know, friends, right? outside of you know YouTube videos and stuff. So. Right. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. Um, they've also been doing some updates for me if you have, if you've missed them on uh, American guinea hogs. Um, that's pretty cool how fast they grow when they're on full feed, so that's fun. Should be another one coming up soon, hopefully. Soon. Yeah, so thanks, buddy. You bet. Anything else you want to tell them? No, I'm good. Cool. See, See you, you guys later. later. Oh, mama wants eggs for breakfast. So Ray is going to make eggs. I've got to run out to the barn and grab them, but I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the sunrise. It's birdie, but it's cold. So if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that we were making some of these hooks. See right here. Um, but I haven't been able to find any screws that I liked in order to screw them to a board to make like a hanger. Um, so I got some of these. You see that? They're a little black. They're kind of like a a regular screw head. Uh, come on, show up here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So they're regular screw heads. So you can see it sits slightly proud like that. I also got, let me show you. These to me look like a pan head, but it's called a truss head wood screw. Let me see those in there. Let me see if I can like isolate one. So you can kind of see on that. That one might sit flatter. So I'm thinking I'm gonna, I'll test it out and see. I also got these fire bricks. Uh, my buddy Chad Osborne at Osborne Forge, the guy who I took our, our forging class with, said I should make a one brick forge. Well, this is a fire brick. I think it'll do up to like 2,600 degrees, 3,000 degrees. And what you can do is you can drill a hole in this one way, drill a hole in it the other way. So one hole is to put your material in. The other hole is to put a torch in. So like you could take a propane torch like this, you turn it on like that. And then what you do is you would um, kind of stick this into the side of it like that through that first hole or the second hole you made and it would create a forge. So I'm trying to figure out if, uh, if I can do that. So, but that won't happen today. I gotta get inside and make sure the kids are getting schoolwork done, all that kind of stuff. It was good to have my wife home. She had a meeting to go to. So lots of stuff going on. Quick update on the sander that I bought. This is the sander that I bought for $25. Uh, the guy told me when I bought it that it was having tracking issues. Uh, the belt was not tracking very well. It would kind of go to one side and then to the other. Um, he said, you know, it's possible that it just needs a new belt. He hasn't put a new belt on it in a while. So this is the belt that came with it. It was, uh, I think it's pretty darn stretched out because this is the, I don't know if you can see this nut right here. This is how you adjust it up and down. When I got it from him, it was 
all the way up as high as you can go. You could see like that much thread on top of here. And he had to use a pliers to turn the nut because it was so high up. Put a new uh, belt on it and loosened that nut way down. And now, tracking like a champ. Hey guys, you may have just seen a clip of Ray playing basketball, but Cowboy and Aquaman also had basketball games. They played well. Um, Ray's team lost, but they played well. Aquaman's team and Cowboy's team won. It was really nice, so I coach Aquaman, and we played really well, and we, we kind of overmatched the team that we played. So in the end, without even really having to ask, some of our better players took it amongst themselves to you know, kind of make sure they stopped taking shots, and we're trying to get shots for players who don't get the ball a lot. So as a coach, uh, as a father, as you know, hopefully a mentor, it, it really made me feel good that they were doing that you know, by themselves. So that was a good thing. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to head inside to get kids to bed, and then I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless you and your family.